And don't forget of our media services. Book us for all your events such as your weddings, photo shoots, engagements, funerals, birthday parties, corporate events, and many more. Contact us on 055-288-3975 or 055-301-2602. MTG will provide you with the best and quality. So that's wonderful. Now, you are welcome to our exclusive interviews, Rethinking Marriage in the Modern Times. And today I have three notable gentlemen in our midst. You may be wondering why we have all guys here. Uh, this is another perspective to our marriage interviews. I will proceed with our marriage quote. Then from there, we'll begin to know our guest in the studio. The goal in marriage is not to think alike, but to think together. This quote is by Robert C. Dodds. The goal in marriage is not to think alike, but to think together. Now, when people marry, we have to understand that we will be different people. Sometimes, all the times, there will be different perspectives, there will be different angles to solving problems and doing all kinds of things. But the idea here is not to have the same uh, way of thinking, but the same mindset is important and how we look at things in perspective and how we come together to produce the needed results. So this is our quote. This program is brought to you by the MTG Multimedia, our principal sponsors, and then also MK Care Services, who have sponsored us in so many ways and supported this program in many ways. Over to you, gentlemen. You are welcome. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So you just tell us your name briefly and what you do. Then we will continue from there. Okay. And then we'll start from my immediate <coughs> left. Right. I'm um, Stelling. I'm a student and a business person. Okay. Can I'm just I'm a photographer. Okay. I'm also Phil, a photographer. All right. You are welcome. Thank you. Uh, we are excited. You are with us. I'm sure people are working on a marriage program while we're bringing young mm -hmm. people. So, and I just want to emphasize to our viewers that these are people who are, let me say, ambitious, who have goals, who have plans, and they are not just young people who are not doing anything. We didn't just randomly sample people out. We looked out for people who are trying to do something with their lives, and let's see how marriage fits into and this they are go, and then we'll move on from there. So you've heard their names and what they do. Now we'll begin with our interview. Um, Mr. Sterling. What question should we ask first? About uh, I've, you've not been married before. Exactly. We want to establish that. Yeah. You have all not been married before. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys been in any form of relationship before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. So just for the for our viewers, you can give us your age range. 20, if you are between 20, 25, and then 25, 30, or 30 plus. You tell us. So let's okay. know. 20, 25. Okay. Okay. Twenty thirty. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So that's wonderful. Now over to our first and major question. Um, can you give us your experience as far as marriage is concerned? Have you witnessed any marriage and how has it impacted you in one way or the other? Okay. Yeah, I uh, Growing up, I've seen a lot of marriages or people who are, who are married and all that. And yes, yeah, some they, they look very beautiful, and you wonder what what is keeping them together and all of that. And some too, like he just don't know what is going on. So seeing all these things, you wonder what uh, you have. You have a lot of questions to ask, exactly. So yeah, I have seen marriage. Yeah. 
Okay. How about you? Uh, well, for me, I take marriage in a different perspective because of the caliber of people that have moved it. Most of the people that have moved it, um, they, um, they've, uh, they've had a divorce. So sometimes I wonder, uh, then if you marry after two years, spend a lot of money and then you go and divorce, then why don't you be in a relationship and then you break up? Just like you marry and then you'll be divorced. So if I'm in a relationship and I break up, I'm assuming that I'm in a marriage, just that I've not made a formal proposal to the family. So that's what I think about marriage. But some of the marriages I've seen are so beautiful. Sometimes I say, oh, I can not marry, I wish I would marry. But I share the situation of the other marriages now around Nanyamife. So I don't really want to mention to the idea of getting married and then issues that will come upon issues and all that. Phil, how about you? Yeah, um, also, what I would say is that um, growing up, I've, um, I've seen other marriages. I've seen, I've encountered a lot of couples and um, sometimes you'd feel marriage is a very beautiful thing, but they themselves will tell you that um, if you're not physically or mentally and financially ready, don't venture marriage. So at some point, I even felt like, nah, marriage is not uh, something. You go online, you see a certain couple, you feel like, ah, these people, uh, it's like they are giving you updates on their daily life. So you'll be like, ah, these people, it's like they are living a happy life and all that. But sometimes when you go deep into the matter, that's not it. But they are, they are showing you the nice part of their life online. and. When you go deep into the thing, it's very, very bad. I don't know whether you've ever seen somebody who has posted a bad picture of themselves before. Oh, yes. People, people do. do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, because I know everybody would like to put their best foot forward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stalin, yeah. yes, as you have said, some marriages raise a lot of questions uh, in your mind. So let's take, first of all, the bad marriages you have witnessed. How has it impacted your thinking? How has it, what type of questions were you asking yourself or have you been asking yourself? And how have these marriages affected you in one way or the other? And your prospects of even getting married? Right, so thank you for that. And well, okay, let me take the bad marriages like you said. Uh, I've seen cases where husbands beat their wives. I've seen cases where they, they, they kind of fight in public and being someone that I am a little more reserved so I just wonder okay if I get married doesn't mean like I'm going to be fighting with my partner on the streets <laughs> and all of that so it, it gets me thinking and what even leads to that because if you never know whom yeah you can know the person but to what extent so it just get me thinking okay I, I don't want you to be out there on social media or anything because these days like the list of people want to see they want to capture it so if you are more in the business space and your issues are out there i don't think it's the best so that that is one question it gives me that okay am i going to find my partner outside another case is the fact that the it can, it can be the, the husband not taking care of the kids where in the, uh, only the woman takes care of the, the children and you see that they're not too happy because it's a partnership so where the other person's role. Oh, okay, so you as a man, I'm sure uh, next week or a week or two will be interviewing all ladies. Okay. But you as a man, don't you think that this bad man, because the examples you are giving, I see that most of the fault is coming from the man. <laughs> Shouldn't you think that it's, it's a good motivation for you to want to get it right? Sure. Than rather uh, something that discourages you from marriage? Definitely. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, currently I'm in that process of trying to, yeah, I, I have this beautiful picture of marriage and I personally want to get married over time, but yeah, these, these things kind of give you like a second thought. Like, okay, like, we'll come to that beautiful picture. Sure. Okay, yes, uh, you mentioned that uh, also bad marriages that you have witnessed. You specifically spoke about people, most of some of the people you met, they have divorced. Because divorce is not something that people really plan for. So you, as a, how has this affected you? Your opinion about marriage? Do you even have plans or intend that one day I will marry? Okay, so for me, from me, uh, after my friends and colleagues that I wouldn't love to marry at all. This is because 
even though in the Bible is an institution by God, I realize that sometimes people make it like you have to, if you don't marry, you, you can't make it to heaven. And what God said is from God. So I said, no, okay, what if you've married and they are beating your wife and not taking care of their children and not doing anything responsible? And I'm in a relationship, I'm taking care of the person, I'm feeding the person and then maybe the family. So both of us now, who is married? Because if you want to tell me that you've married because of love, then they will tell you that my relationship, there's love in my relationship because I'm taking care of the person. But you that are married, you are, be uh, you are beating your wife or whoever, you are not taking care of the children, you are not being responsible to us all. Well. So these two people, if they are to, someone is to choose between the two of us, someone will choose a relationship than a marriage. And then the divorce aspects, uh, I remember I was shooting a wedding in, in Eastern region. Mm -hmm. And then the lady was not respectful. So when we even got there, she was shouting on us, I didn't know about them. I said, hey. So we kept quiet. Then I started calling the husband. And the husband said, Charlie, the wedding name, I won't come home because I'm drinking somewhere with my friends since you don't want to respect. And then the chiefs, there the, were the chiefs under the way, so the chiefs had to call the man and beg him, you chiefs are here, just come. I said, I will settle the issue. And the man said, after I married this lady, in a week's time, I'll divorce because it's because you chiefs said. So all these things, once you see what we listen to what the people say, sometimes they are alone with their friends, so we, go and, so we, we hear a lot of things. So I said, hmm. And since I can't waste this, a lot of money on this marriage, then we break up there. Then I want to be alone. I want to have fun, and then when I die, I go. So that's my best work. All these issues I want to... So I can say your photography has affected your perspective of marriage. Is that what you are saying? Uh, yeah, it's, Because yeah. I know the photography, maybe the bridal shower, you're going through the room, yes. those type of things, you are with them, uh, and yeah. sometimes they're not even conscious of the fact that you're around, they end up saying all yes. kinds of things. So, from, so I think that you are coming from the perspective that Bad marriage is from the, the woman's side. Yes, yes, most of the time from okay. the woman's side. All right, that is what discourages you mm -hmm. from marriage. But you have brought, made a parallel between um, marriage and relationship. Uh, there is something that I think that maybe you are not considering. Marriage is an institution, like you are saying, uh, governed by certain laws. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in a relationship, otherwise, what you are trying to spread is promiscuity. Okay, so uh, the boundaries of marriage are there, and from the way you are talking, I suspect that you are a Christian. Um, the Christian boundaries of marriage are also clearly defined, and your Christian faith, your Christian faith, does not permit you to go out of your way and have a relationship where you feel that you are doing well enough for the lady as compared to you marrying the person and taking care of the person. What do you think about that? So like I said, marriage is an institution by God. So we take the marriage to be the ceiling point of the marriage. You are married. So now whatever you want to do, you can do. So now what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to promote or squeeze. I'm trying to say that if a married person is going to church, you vow before God, this and this and this, and I'm not doing it. And I've not gone to church, I've not, I've not vowed, but I'm doing what the Bible is saying. Just that I've not sealed it, it's marriage. That's, the, that's my issue. Okay, another time we'll look at um, polygamy and other <laughs> related uh, issues. Because, you know, one issue that is prevalent in Ghana is um, cohabitation. What you are talking about is basically cohabitation. Where they are not married, they are together, they are experiencing life together as a partner. So in this discussion, we notice that this thing is very common. Because people don't see the need to put a ring on it, as some people rightly say. But I'll just say this in passing that uh, the problem with cohabitation is that even marriage alone is even very complex. Okay. When you are even married with a ring, with a program, families are green, and all those things, it's a problem. Uh, there are challenges involved. Okay. How much more you are just cohabitating, children come out of it, 
nobody is bound by any rule or any regulation. That's one of the things we must know about cohabitation. But I'm not going to go into those uh, details now. We want to hear from you, uh, mainly. Uh, so Phil, as you have also outlined um, to us, you have seen beautiful marriages, you have seen uh, good marriages. And especially on social media and the rest, and you dig deep into these marriages and realize that it's not what you think it is. You think it is. How has it impacted your quest in, in thinking about marriage or in pursuing marriage or planning towards it in any way? Okay, so um, based, on, uh, based on the knowledge I've gathered from those things, um, the videos I watch online and uh, the people I've met, sometimes uh, I realize that most people quarrel, most couple quarrel because um, the lady feels like the man is being irresponsible because maybe when they started a relationship uh, there was something the man was bringing on board but when they got married it wasn't that that flow wasn't there as compared to when they were in the relationship so it makes me feel like if i would get married unless i i, I i'm so comfortable Yes, when I say comfortable, it's in terms of finances. And maybe if I have a business I'm running, maybe it's being uh, handled by someone that I can actually pay attention to my family. Because sometimes, uh, I always say, women or ladies are the most complicated species ever. That's my perception I have about them. Because um, if you don't make money, they have a problem with that. But you are trying to work very hard to make money and you are not having time for, for the family as well they would have a problem with it and then they would end up um, um, saying that you are cheating on them so that's why i want to have a very comfortable life maybe have my dream car my dream house and my business would be doing well but venture marriage oh okay i i think you also made mention of the fact that um, you saw your parents together and stuff like that We'll come into those details, mm -hmm. and then also, um, yeah, you you said many people advise you that if you're not physically and mentally and financially ready, what what do they mean, and or what did you get from what they were trying to? Okay, so um, in terms of the finances, let's say um, we get married, uh, we start drawing budget for both of us, and then uh, in less than a year. A child comes in and the lady gets pregnant we we'll have to start planning a lot we start we we'll have to start going for antenatal we have to start buying the kids dresses and a whole lot we have to even start saving for when when the kid when the kid grows up the kid will start school because let's say if i am working i'm a very busy person and um, my wife too is a very busy person and that means we would have to enroll the child very early. So we'd have to start planning for all these things. And uh, if we are not financially stable and Nyami uh, and Fafi, then it happens like my case that I'm a twin. Originally we planned for uh, just the two of us. Then she gets pregnant. When uh, she, 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 delivers, she delivers two people, two human beings. <laughs> just imagine the rest. Aha. So, in terms of finances, you have to be financially stable. And if you've not uh, psychic your mind enough to handle these things, you realize that when the baby comes, you as a man, you be like, what is this? Especially when, when you were the last born, you wouldn't uh, really come into contact with kids because you are, you are the last one, so you were taken care of. So, when the baby is crying, you don't understand. When So, this this whole thing could uh, get you uh, would get you traumatized huh that's why you should be physically uh, mentally and financially ready for the marriage all right thank you uh sterling okay. uh, back to you we want to look at you have made it clear that you intend to marry let's look at the beautiful picture that has been painted to you. The marriages, so we have looked at the bad ones. 
their good marriages? What are the things that you have seen that make you categorically say that this is a good marriage? Okay, uh, I've seen that the in in the case of one couple, like I saw how both of them were living, especially one. Well, the uh, so it's like someone was just working and all of that. Then when you got married, like things were just progressing. You see, so there's that part of it. And away from all of that, all those that I take inspiration from are more or less married. Oh. And as yeah, it's uh, both those doing business and those one was doing business, so they're all like married kind of thing so I, I see that okay then it's a good thing and as someone who also I, I have certain things I want to work on and I feel like being married will be will help me to be focused on whatever it is I don't know what it is but I feel like marriage is that one thing that could make it work out um they they are they're progressing like you can see that okay these are these people who are you know growing in every day yeah, so. Okay, all right, I'll come back to you. Yes, what is that thing you've seen that will make you say that this is a beautiful marriage in your perspective? Okay, so there's this couple I know. Um, on social media, what they do is that they tend to prank each other. See, so maybe the woman will bring another man into the house. They come up, be recording before them. So today they want to prank my husband and see how he reacts. If people think we always don't fight and things, then they will call. Then the woman will enter, then try to raise their hand. They say it's a prank. They say, You see, always you post nice things about us. But they say, Then the man will say, But this one is more than, this one is something I can't take. So for them, for instance, they are always home and then their business is flourishing. Because I, I, one time I heard that the woman was saying that if you employ a new person to manage the work for them so that they will have time for themselves and their children. So, like for that particular marriage it's nice when they're going out they have the same outfit if people tend to take pictures of them hey, and these people don't they argue don't they fight what is it that is making them active and then keeping on the relationship so for that aspect of the marriage yeah it's it's, it's something beautiful for me and i wish to marry so but, that you can wear the same dress uh, no <laughs> not to, not to say just that like you see mr joe so mm -hmm. be this mm -hmm. For example, we've gone for, an, uh, we've gone for a diploma meeting. They will ask me start your name. This, then they will call, oh, I came with my wife. Then maybe you also come. Respect her, but you know, the society takes marriage to be a World Cup something. So, oh, this man is going, he's not getting married, but he's having children. So, you are, you are okay. But that aspect will start giving you psychological problems. You know, but marriage is something beautiful. I don't, I don't disagree. But sometimes the argument and small issue. When we're dating, maybe when I touch your ear like this, you don't get angry. In the marriage, I touch your ear and you slide. Ah, but when we're dating, when I touch you, don't hit me. So things are changing. It depends on when and where. <laughs> yes, yeah. when there are babies around, you yes. can't be touching yes. Yes. under pressure. But however, okay, so uh, if I want to, what are the things that you say, oh, this is a beautiful marriage? So to you, the dressing, there Money, like being comfortable, your, your business is being functioning. comfortable. Yes. Okay, having time for the children. Yes. yes. How about uh, our brother Phil? Um, uh, when I say a marriage is beautiful, what do I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not just about the, uh, it's not just about matching our outfits, uh, not about just being rich and being able to supply needs. I feel like uh, if if a marriage if someone's marriage would be nice for me, unless I see that both of you are understanding and you're always ready to compromise. Uh, because that makes that makes it so nice. Because if we are we are all human beings and we are uh bit meaful. So if I I, I do something wrong against you and you're able to understand that oh maybe I came back to apologize to you you're able to understand me and then forgive me or maybe I have this attitude that you don't like but then you're ready to compromise and then you're hoping for me to change that makes me feel like yeah this is a human being this is a healthy uh, relationship this is a healthy marriage okay 
so far and if I'm coming back again to uh, Daniel if we were to if we were given the chance to remove all the things you think are bad about marriage from any marriage and leave only the good things what are some of these bad things that you will remove arguments arguments yes okay or quarrel, or quarrel. yes, yes. Man. Is that all? Uh, basically, yeah. Okay. So for me, I don't like an arguing wife or woman. An easy person. Please too. And if you, yeah, and if you don't respect the couple, then now it's out from the beginning. These are the three things that I, I don't like. Okay. Mm. All right. How about you? Before we go for a quick commercial break. Okay, so um, for me, um, the bad thing I'll take out is uh, uh, you having, uh, you no know, maybe bad company, like bad having bad friends, you see, because sometimes the kind of friends determine uh, what goes on in your marriage, because something would happen, you tell, uh, maybe my very good friend is Joe, I tell Joe, Joe wouldn't be sensible enough to tell me something sensible to be able to understand my partner and stay there. Okay. All right. So, viewers, we'll be going for a very quick commercial break. We are still taking some of the things um, that matter to our youth today. We have heard from them. Uh, thank you. We'll be back right after this break. Don't miss out all the fun and exciting interviews with Rob. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook at NTG IT Center, Instagram and TikTok at NTG underscore multimedia. Get your movies or documentaries at MTG Multimedia. Did you know that at MTG, we stand the chance of getting the best and quality training in IT at a very affordable price? We have, we do 18 courses, 18 internationally recognized courses to three months. My presentation is about the evolution of computer hardware and software. It's with their school website. 20% didn't have any issue with their school website. Welcome from your chat. Your bad child. The level of ignorance in all these schools you interview is very high. So a lot of them, even parents, don't know that the school has not decided. You take the, the full malware scan to see if there is a hacker on your system. Well. We also provide you with mobile and web applications such as ticketing and voting software, viewers and accounting software, school and management software, hospital management software, etc. We also help you with your IT project research and digital marketing. And don't forget of our media services. Book us for all your events such as your weddings, photo shoots, engagements, funerals, birthday parties, corporate events, and many more. Contact us on 055-288-3975 or 055-301-2602. MTG will provide you with the best and quality. Welcome back. We still have our gallant gentleman here educating us about what uh, the youth think about marriage and their various perspectives. All right, you guys have friends and you have a circle of friends. So among, if, you, if I take five of your friends, what is their opinion about marriage? 
that is about five of your friends. What is their opinion about marriage? And uh, do they look forward to even marrying and even having a good marriage? And in your opinion, what do you think they are doing to ensure that they have a good marriage? Okay. Okay. Five of my friends, about 90% chance of getting married. Um, because? Because they, they believe in the ideas of marriage. Um, yeah. Okay, you mentioned that you feel that some of the things you want to achieve, marriage will help you. How do you mean? Okay, so I don't, personally, I don't think being a business person, you, want, you like to be sleeping around and all. Like, okay, if, basically, business is about management. So I feel like if you're able to manage your immediate family very well, you can extend the influence in other parts. And the more you progress in business, the, the more consultation you have to do. And your wife becomes like, an immediate person to do or discuss a lot of things with. Oh, yes, the view you have. You may be deceived. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> okay. if you are fortunate to get a wife who can be a secretary or an assistant like you are thinking, that's fine, but it's not always so. Okay. Uh, so, well, I just want you to know that it's not so. And then also, you made a point that um, uh, when you marry, a marriage can never keep you away from external marital affairs. It's a bit more likely to happen because for my, my opinion, you become more attractive <laughs> when you are married. <laughs> yes, you become more attractive. And it has nothing to do with how well your wife is feeding you or no. I think it has more to do with the fact that you are married then you must be a responsible person responsible because somebody is looking for somebody who is responsible have you met any lady who is just interested in somebody who is not responsible that's one of the biggest threat to any love relationship lack of responsibility so um if that is what you are intending that the marriage can give you this uh, you may be shocked but well let's let's continue sure Okay, but is that is that all you feel? Because you you say oh, you feel that marriage can help you in certain ways. Yes. Which other way? Or oh, that's all. Yeah, I think that that's that's, that's the way really to <laughs> then. Do okay. So other okay. other okay. things would I look at it to be like um, I don't like to talk about things that are, that's like kind of affecting me to just anybody kind of thing. Okay. So um, getting married or. Yeah, this guy gets married. I feel like I have someone that I trust enough to discuss things with, like personal affairs. Okay, you know, that's that's stuff. that's true. I trust no man. That's no that's, man. <laughs> that's true. Provided you made the right choice. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't know whether you have something to. Uh, so your friends all look up to, look forward yeah, yeah. to getting married. Yes. They're interested in marriage. And what are some of the things they you have heard them talking about that? Who help them to stay married, even, <laughs> or they've not thought about that. Well, because it's one thing to marry and mm -hmm. another thing to stay married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Sometimes people confuse that too, because marriage begins with a wedding, all those ceremonies. After one year, mm -hmm. the love is gone. The the love associated with I've met a woman is gone. Even after, if you are not fortunate mm -hmm. and the baby even comes and wow, it's gone early. So, what, what, what are some of the things you have heard them say or planning to do? Well, um, most of them are learning about like what the whole institution is, because the whole institution are going into, so knowledge around it. Um, also, trying as much as possible to be to be to take our responsibilities yeah and other things that i believe they are doing oh okay so what uh, can you just just us on the knowledge that you feel they have gotten so far with your circle of friends okay um some knowledge includes the fact that um they show interest in seminars um away from school seminars like uh, external seminars that have to do with marriage and okay. relationship wise they okay. show interest in that um, they show interest in reading books around this. Okay. Um, they show interest in 
like networking with all sort of people. Oh, okay. So, I don't know, can you give me one book or something that you have come across? What? All right. Okay, personally, um, in relation to marriage, oh, um, there's this book by I think I don't remember the title, but it's one of the okay. I've read something on relationship, but I don't know if it's exactly marriage. Okay. One has to do with the the five, um, love language, exactly. Oh, okay, and there's another one, so basically. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now you are ready to my Okay. So uh, let's hear from you. Your your circle of friends. Five of them. Uh, so my circle of friends. Five of them. Yeah. So you know, I rather be in a relationship than get married. So to be in a relationship, have children, everything, mm -hmm. than uh, get married. Uh, yeah, but it's shocking now. Those people, some of them have gotten married. <laughs> some of them have gotten <laughs> Some of those friends have gotten married. Some of them have gotten high school just left now. First, I think second year, one. But then the other one is not relevant. So there was, let me say, he has to start, he has to marry quick. Was the <laughs> was the chief justice of Ado Chari and Waru? Hey, but now they, they are going. And why were they saying the woman? Because see, if, if you are in school, they are trying to talk to this lady. Then the way the lady says, hey, say now, but then say, in marriage, there, if this was a dream, in this small relationship, you know, you started demanding so much, you started calling me down and things. It, it, then, if you marry a there, then you give me a head to go. Okay. Uh huh. So, some of these things. So, sometimes they will just be there and say, ah, look at how this guy is behaving. Now, then, if she marries someone, this is what is going to happen. And so, maybe sometimes it's time they will change. They will change. Uh huh. So, in some of them, their relationship told me that, oh, my girlfriend told me that. We should give birth. She wants to give birth now, so that she can focus on school or um, she can focus on herself. So she knows that oh, I have a baby somewhere. So all these men, all, all these people say no. This is their trap and things for marriage and things. So the fellows say that they won't marry what at all. But unfortunately for them, most of them are get married. So for my circle of friends, I'll say that now they are entering to the marriage as ah. About the Muslim girls coming in their school, four of them married, but already crying those things. Okay, so um, now this circle of friends, as they have married, have you been hearing from them? Yeah. And they have been giving you, wow, you should also marry or something. They are still convincing me that she married, that she married. They have been convincing you to marry. Yes. And what are some of the things they have been telling you that, oh? I say, oh, like the marriage, a mujer is difficult. So I'm telling you that it's difficult. But mm -hmm. if you know how to do your things, your, your partner says that, do this, do this, and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it. Mm -hmm. Do it for them. So when you do it and there's no issue, that's something that's come to stay. So you maintain it. Mm -hmm. Then you keep it. So that's what most of the times oh, they bring okay. on board. So they've, they've told you that it's just how you manage yourself. Manage yourself in a marriage. OK. So that means that some people just don't manage themselves. <laughs> they, they don't at all. All right. OK. So um, still on your friends, now that they have married, you were saying that you are looking to relationship compared to even marriage, looking at the stress, the pressure, and all the things that are going to it. Uh, have they convinced you enough? Oh, no. Because even the profession I've also even entered is another level crowd so okay. because sometimes I feel oh I go for events, I see a lot of people, I see beautiful people and so, so if I'm trying to talk to you, then I'm trying to rush, I say, Hey Charlie, do you know I can get this woman on silver plata? Do you know I can get this person to turn silver plata? And I hear rushing me. So all these things will be Charlie, if I can get a DB to be dating or to be doing this now, then you yarn for me, I can't take it stress me. And so the profession I've also entered is another level that is changing. The idea about uh, it. So when they say uh, photographers are humanizers, you uh, that's agree. not true. Yeah, it's not true. You have hinted us on that. Yeah, no, no. I'm, it's an example of sighting. Okay. And it's not that I'm. Um, All right. So maybe from what you're saying, one of your challenges is even choosing. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, then to ask again if your challenge is about choosing. Can you give us maybe some tools, since you have a lot of interesting perspective to weddings and marriage that have made you cancel the idea of being married. So give us one or two. 
<laughs> You've given us one, the one in which the man didn't want to come. The man cried is dead. After three months, he died. I see. Okay, give us another. Another one. There so that no... people, I want people to know <laughs> what happens <laughs> at weddings and what people are deciding to go into. Okay, so there's this wedding shot at um, I am father about. Oh, like I was, I was even sad mm. because the lady called the man. Pachomo bana, eh? You bana on tobo. I was say, oh, pacho say mo, mo na mo share time. Say mo beba six. Say na sorry ni ponte. Eh? Na na kanya de yaba. Then when the man came, I was in the room. I told the oh pacho today is Sunday. Let's forget about everything. This one too is just some small pressure. Be everything will be okay. He said okay. When the man and then the man tell them, say, ah, why, why are you calling me plenty like that? Why, why marriage and come to behave like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the whole world is this and this and so she should relax. <laughs> then, but the married too is the man who flopped the marriage at the end. Uh -huh. Because when their family came late, late, they left certain things. So the other family has to cover it as if everything is intact. Yes. Mm. So you see, even that communication alone. So even on your, on your wedding day, you started argument already. So, so coming when it's like that, I just decided to either go out or work so that I don't. Yes, yeah, so I did that poor quasi. Now I can put the box everything, but it was empty. <laughs> 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 like the very first, right? so the patch of a moon capture. Uh, so they said that we shouldn't capture the, this thing. Then the man said, Ah, you know, some family members can be stubborn. For example, a push Say so, no, 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 no. Where am I? Where this culture? Uh, you have to bring something here because you are about to marry. And then the man said, "Oh, they bought it the day before. The, the things were not because they didn't want it to be because the pastor came in, and then they didn't want it to be too. So they says, "Oh, but the things that they bought it long time, but they didn't bring anything because the man <laughs> because the man was with the woman in their own house. And so I think the man told him actually he can move away." And the man wanted to follow him because the man says, not money to marry you. So he is going. So that's an example of cohabitation. Yes. They were together. Okay, we we're going for a very quick commercial break. Then we'll return and then continue this discussion. Welcome back viewers, uh, we are still enjoying ourselves over here. I want to remind you this program is sponsored by the MTG Multimedia Department of the MTG IT Center for Excellence and also MK Care Services. You are free to sponsor, to support, to also push. I want to encourage you, tell a friend to tell a friend that the marriage interview is ongoing, rethinking marriage. This is the fourth and the first of the new year, and we are excited to be here. So, Abdul, you are sharing with us some of your experience with um, weddings, bad marriages. The marriage started going wrong even from the wedding. Yes. And to even buttress the point I was making about cohabitation, these are some of the things because it's like we just have to do something. Uh -huh. And there's no, it's, it's, it's even a pure sign of. A lack of respect <laughs> and irresponsibility. Yeah. Yes. So you tell us one more, then we'll move on. Okay. So the recent wedding we shot was in November, and this was at uh, uh, if you're going to Regiment no Estate. That's at December. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was in December, and then <clears throat> I was I, I also happened to be most of the time in the ladies' room because I know they would talk, because the guys they had him issue no I didn't buy this so. You don't have time to be talking. And then the lady called the guy and said, Oh, Namu. The guy said, Meba. The guy, the number is short, my dinner. Okay. So my other photographer was still waiting in the house. He said, Charlie, the people are not ready at all. It's not going to buy shoes to wear to the wedding. Room. So they will keep long. I said, Hey. So, okay. so when my wedding is done, because it's a big cycle. Okay, yes. Five friends. Uh, what are their impressions? And where do they start? Your friends. Okay, so when I take five friends, I have two over five. 
So there are two ones to get married. Okay. And the three still hold to my perception. Of? Of living a few Yes. Okay. Being comfortable before they get married. And they're actually working towards that because the kind of family they come from, if you if you are 32, 33 and are not getting married, they'll have a problem with you. Okay. They may end up disowning you. <laughs> and I noticed one thing in Africa, okay, let's uh, zero it to Ghana. When you get to a certain age and are not getting married, one, they see you as uh, an irresponsible person. Mm -hmm. Two, they would either classify you as a womanizer or you have a problem with yourself. <laughs> so it's <That's> very <laughs> 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 important. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So if it gets to a certain level of your life and you're not getting married, these are the two things people, uh, these are the two perceptions people tend to have about you. Uh, that's why sometimes uh, when uh, certain people are approaching that stage, they try and then uh, use the fast track to get married. But I feel like uh, we don't marry for beauty, we don't marry for love. It's not anything else apart from purpose. When you marry because you have purpose, with that one, if the thing is going wrong, cry, you'd be ready to compromise and you'd uh, be very optimistic and have hope that it will be, uh, uh, it will become better. Okay. Yes. All right. So your friends, two want to marry, three do not. The two are the ladies. Uh, yes. Okay. And the three are all guys. All guys. And they all hold to the view that they must make it before they even think yeah, about, man. Yeah, man. about marrying. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, to our last, okay, but let me just press you a little bit more on that. What do you mean by making, how, what will make you say that I've made it and <laughs> I can marry? Okay, so yes, as I'm, I, I'm comfortable. As I've I mentioned, I yeah. uh, from the beginning, I said, uh, if I'm comfortable with the kind of life I'm living, unless uh, I have my dream car, Okay. At least one. Okay. My dream house. Mm -hmm. So that when I'm married, I'm not thinking about rent. Okay. I'm not thinking about transportation. They would buy fuel and all that. But it won't be compared to um, using a public transport or something. It will be more expensive than that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm own, owning my own business, I, would, I, can, I can regulate the flow of income. Okay, I'll know how to. Uh, by that time, I'll be done managing my stuff, so I'll just be cashing out. <laughs> okay. Yes. So basically, that's what that's uh, what I mean when I say. So unless you have your dream car, your dream yes. house, you are not married. Yes. By that, by then, before I have my dream car and dream house, then I had satisfied my uh, my lovely mother. And by all means, my, my siblings too, not almost all made draw. Don't you think this, your opinion is very exaggerated and extravagant? No, no, no. I'm working towards that, so it's not... It's okay. All right. Uh, that's wonderful to hear. Yes. And I'm sure some of your friends share this same opinion. Yes. That's why they're my friends. All right. Okay. So our final question before we wrap up on our interview. Uh, I, I, you guys have made mention of the fact that there's a lot of societal pressure in one way or the other. So the youth of today, using yourself as an example, uh, do you think that they feel pressure? I think that the age range is between 20 to 30. Uh, you feel pressure that marriage is something you must do, whether you like it or not, you must do it um, for yourself. Or you feel that in Ghana, we are of the view that oh, when you are when you feel ready, you want to marry, you can marry or there, there's that pressure and that pressure will catch up with you no matter what and if now you're also facing that pressure you can let us know okay i think we have started from this side for long okay. so let's start from the other side <laughs> okay so um with the pressure concerning marriage in the society from the society i'm gonna start witnessing that because i'm i'm so so young for that okay. uh -huh. and uh, they always say that guys there you can grow to any stage of your life before you get married you are not you, you don't expire early as they've been using yes because uh, ladies 
okay let me not go there so with, with that particular pressure I'm not, I, I'm not uh, under that pressure now because of my age I have I met this friend back in summer 2021 we actually met at a wedding and she was like 28 then then uh -huh. so when she when anytime I speak to her she'll be like I should pray for her so that God will give her a good husband and stuff now, now her, her parents are giving her pressure because though she, she worked at a very good place she worked at a bank as uh, with the customer service so um, at least she, uh, was a good job she was doing she, I feel like she she would have gotten the chance to meet a lot of people but still the man wasn't coming but still she was living with her parents so definitely the pressure would be very close because anytime the one wants to talk about marriage she just it's just a walk away. She walk to your room and then <laughs> start giving it to you. But sometimes the parents don't understand the reason why I'm not getting it. Uh -huh. Maybe I, sometimes I feel like I watched one of the interviews that was host, hosted here. Um, the lady mentioned that sometimes it's God who is trying to work on your attitude. Uh -huh. Maybe you have a certain attitude that you have to work on. So maybe God is uh, delaying your marriage for you to be able to work on that particular attitude yeah so I feel like with the pressure it's more on the lady's side as compared to me there to your side. Yes. so the men don't have any pressure uh, basically the pressure is from you making money and taking care of your mother if you are a mommy's boy like me okay so that's the pressure most people your age or uh, so right now that's the pressure you are facing to make money yes <laughs> all right okay mm -hmm. i think that you are above the 25 bracket <laughs> so maybe if there's pressure you can tell us <laughs> yeah, maybe i'll give you pressure personally <laughs> i want to be his best man oh okay <laughs> you should worry yeah. okay so i mean there's no pressure coming like that Mm -hmm. Because some we say you're 16 years <laughs> already. So, um, and then the reason why I said there's still pressure, crowd was that I think around September something happened, and then my mom said that uh, for now, if we shouldn't be thinking about relationship. And I said, hey, if you're not thinking about relationship, then the marriage aspect, they don't think about it at all. Because if, if I'm in a relationship, and it's actually cut off that relationship and focus on school, education and work. Then after that I can enter into a relationship. Let's say I that's thirty years already. And now I can take about four, four to five years to think about you see I have issue about choosing. Coming to choose, enter forty years and things before I will marry. So that's why so immediately she said that that's okay. I'll wait. If the person starts coming from them, then I'll tell her, Oh, I've no I'm not yet in relationship oh, so give me some five years to enter into a new relationship. Before I marry, then they say, "Oh no, we are not saying she didn't marry you." Oh, so you 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 see that the pressure will come one day. Yeah, that's the pressure that it will come one day. You that say, "I'm a miss," but I say, "Oh, Kojuna, oh Kojuna, me na na no way." Ah ha, na na injury mo sa mibu. So that's the pressure that it will come. Alright. Yes, that's the pressure. Okay. Then I have pressure not from society, but personal timelines and personal goals. So, so you are giving yourself the pressure. Yeah. Okay. Meaning that you want to be married at this age. Yes. Okay. Which is around which age? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can give us a bracket. Okay. Forty bracket. <laughs> before forty. Before forty. Okay. How about you? Oh, before, yeah, before forty. Oh, from the way I talking, before fifty or. So. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe maybe fifty years. My height to be like I'm still look young because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you? Oh, I, I'm, I'm not thought of it. Okay, I feel like maybe 10 years from now. 10 years, between yes. 10 years gap. Okay, uh, that is fine. All right, yeah, you were speaking about the pressure. Mm -hmm. So your pressure is only pressure because of your plans yeah. and what you think. Okay, so if the plans don't fall as it is, because human beings are not robust, uh, you can set business plans. Those ones you can push some strengths and it will work. But let's say you're even dating somebody who has a bad character mm -hmm. and your plan is two years time or oh, marry, you still go ahead. <laughs> okay, no. Even before the 
Well, in my case, even before like dating, I have like a whole criteria that I mean, yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't just become a pillar. I don't do the trying and all thing. I feel like if I'm dating you, like there's a high potential that I'm gonna marry, or I can marry you when I'm ready, or when we are both ready, kind of thing. So dating is a big deal for me. I I look at it as marriage and so to a very high level. Okay, how about you? Is dating a big deal for you that? My, any dating or relationship I'm going into, they should be entering towards marriage. Well, initially, I was doing it like on contract basis. <laughs> Where <laughs> so we can break up any time. <laughs> so I do tell them, please, in the next four years, you can break up, or three years, you can break up, then we yeah, agree. <laughs> but from then, one, one lady, after we broke up, that's like four months, five months, one year now, she just said she married soon. I said, hey! Uh, so you so know, see, you are being a hindrance to uh-huh. a marriage. <laughs> so I told her that, ah, so like, what, what's happening? She said, oh, she'll be marrying soon. I said, okay, well, I've heard. So, and I said, okay, no, then if that's the case, now all my relationship, let me, like, I'll get it towards marriage because I uh, all this time, all this contract basically it didn't take me now. So this particular time, so I'll tell you, please, if you want us to my future, if I say I don't want this, don't do this, if you but initially, I won't tell you, so you can be doing it. And that's what I was standing to do, to break up with you. But now, I tell you, please, I don't want this. If you do this thing, uh, so now I'm getting it towards marriage. Okay, so when it's not towards marriage, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't put any laws, no, no, no clause that you can do what you like. Do, do what you like. Okay, how about you? Mm, yeah, for me, uh, what was the question again, sorry? The question is whether... Uh, your dating leads to marriage. You, you to marriage. intend your dating to lead to marriage. Oh yes. Well, that, uh, personally, I'm the kind of guy that uh, go around proposing to any girl at all, and I'm a very reserved person. So even if I like you, I can like you for like three years. I won't be able to tell you. <laughs> so my whole life, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm in my third relationship now, which I'm trusting God that it would. And somewhere better, cause I, I I don't I don't like breaking up, starting a whole thing like why? I have better things I can do, so I feel like when you understand me and uh, understand you and I, I'm able to trust you at least. I know that this side is covered, so I'd uh, channel my energy into something else instead of going around texting this girl, calling this a whole lot of girls. Yes, a lot of stress. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there's one question we left out because of our time, but we'll ask it. We always know we ask questions related to sex. Mm-hmm. So it's one to we'll touch on. So our viewers, thank you for staying with us up to this point. Uh, we are wrapping up on our interview. We are excited that you have been able to join us. Please remember to share on all our social media platforms this um, live stream will be available for anybody uh, to watch, to learn from, and also to understand uh, what our youth are thinking of today, what they are considering marriage. Uh, We have had people on this program who married early, they married very young. We have also had people who married a bit late. We are still going on to interview people uh, as far as marriage is concerned. So this whole year, we'll be bringing a lot of interviews uh, related to marriage. I want to encourage you to uh, subscribe, share, like, and then also follow us on all social media platforms. Okay, so what do we think about uh, sex before marriage? And how do we perceive sex in marriage? It's two questions. What do we think about sex before marriage? Is it right? Is it wrong? Uh, is it something we cannot control? Or just and how do we see sex going to be in our marriage? Okay, so this I think we can start from the middle. Since we have started from here. <laughs> <started from, yeah, laughs> <yes, laughs> <don't. laughs> okay. So for me, sex before marriage is very crucial to your relationship or marriage. Mm-hmm. This is because one, maybe you and your spouse, maybe if, if you don't had sex before. It's very crucial 
It's important. You have to before you get married. Because okay. Because okay. now you've got married. You realize that oh, my husband, this is small. Your yeah. husband's what? You are in a relationship. You are not talking. Mm -hmm. Now you go and start cheating. You forgotten that you made a vow in the Bible. So that's even made the married one dead already. Because if not being spoken to, if not discussed, and yet you are moving out of the marriage. But in the relationship, oh, this is what this is what has happened to you. And you can rely on medicines, so we can do this, we can pray together, we can do this. But in the marriage, it will be very difficult for you to say, okay, we'll start, we'll build with medicine, we'll go and see the doctor, because by that time, the pressure there, you won't even like to be drinking those medicines and things. So that's why I think marriage before, you know, sex before marriage is very important for you to know your stand. Okay. Because even in the Bible, I've not, all those who married, I've not heard that they married before they had sex. Well, let me be concerned about five examples. They married before they had sex. Yes. Some of them had sex before they married. Name, them. Name them. You can, uh -huh. That's what I say. If you, can, you can also give me about 500 people in the Bible who married before they had sex. We can. I can give you a list of Almost everybody. Hey! <laughs> yes. I don't know. However, fine. That's your perspective. Okay, so I will not uh, interrupt you for now. Yes. We we'll move to the left. Okay, two questions. Um, yeah, you didn't answer the second part, yes. Okay, so for the second one, uh, sex in marriage, uh, I hope it will be a beautiful thing. You hope it will be, be a beautiful, beautiful thing, thing okay. because the, the youth, for instance, we watch all these things online. So, oh, I'm watching, look at the point, look at the way this man is doing this. So, in the marriage, so they tried before marriage. So when they try, so, oh, this girl cannot meet up to this criteria or this standard. So, it's very crucial in relationship. Okay, yes. Okay, the first one has to do with, um, I, I don't think I will have a problem with that uh, because in my case, first of all, I, I see whether I'm dating us, we are almost married or we have like, there's a very strong intention of getting married. Um, and even if I don't have any plans of me getting married, there's, there's nothing of that sort. And um, we just don't go to that level. You get it, and uh, away from all of that, I also believe strongly that people should get married before they have sex. But in a case where you are dating, it happens. I believe they are still with someone you trust so much that you should try as much as possible to marry if that happens. In the, the only case where I would agree or I wouldn't feel guilty if the relationship doesn't get to the stage I wanted to get to is when you opt out. If you opt out, I feel like <laughs> I still have it. It's you that opted out. So. I don't feel guilty about it because before doing that with you, I was, I was very clear with it that okay, this is someone I would want to settle with. Okay. Um, then sex in marriage. Well, I don't really see it to be anything different. Yeah, because I believe that if, if you are going to get married, like the relationship is like a perfect stage for you to, like, the way you are going to talk to your partner when you get married. I don't think it's going to be really different from when you are dating. So okay. yeah, that's what I all about it. All right. Okay, so it's about sex before marriage and then sex while you are married, okay. So uh, he made uh, a certain comment and I feel like there's a saying that mon monkeys move by sides and then show me your friend and I'll show you your <laughs> character. So uh, if you are a God-fearing person and uh, you decide to live a godly life, there's no way you would go for a hawk. Yeah, there's no way you go for someone who doesn't do stuff uh, that is in line with your belief. Uh -huh. So you can't uh, tell me, sir, um, the person you are dating, the person you get married to, when you get married in the, uh, in the marriage, the person will be like, you know, something is small, so uh, she would want to explore. First of all, you, if if you were if you kept yourself holy, and you weren't doing those stuff, you wouldn't be exposed to those stuff, right? And if that's how you are, you wouldn't have to go for someone who is already already into that, who is just sorry sorry for my words, fucking around. Okay. Uh huh. So if both of you are the same people, when you get married, let's say you you'd be a bit naive. So how is she going to tell you that uh, your something is more, it's not satisfying her, unless she has been exploring? 
and then I'm going to social media. I said, you can see all this. Thing. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. So, uh, so yes, yeah. I feel like I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in the right place to judge the fact that you are having sex in your relationship. Okay. But I, um, anytime you have sex, there's an exchange of, uh, should I say spirit? Yeah, there's an exchange. So let's assume you have you are in a relationship and then you have sex with the person you are in a relationship with. It would end up uh, destroying certain things in your life. It can attack your finances and all that. And then you break up with a person. Sex itself is like a covenant. Okay, so, a covenant. so to you, yes. sex before marriage is a no-no? Yes, but if it happens, okay. fine. But marriage too is very important because um, no, how do you how do you perceive sex in a marriage? What's your mindset about sex in marriage? Oh, it, aside the fact that well, it's marriage, so it's good. There's that. How do you think it is? Since we need to uh, give birth, and uh, yes, we uh, the the generation has to continue. Then it's very important for us to have sex in marriage. Uh -huh. okay. But I feel like you have to really keep yourself, if was if you can. Well, the, the fact of the matter is that sex before marriage, uh, if you look at the pros and cons, and by the way, I just want to debunk that theory of uh, small sexual organ and those things. Whereas I think, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's not always true. It's because people feel that the grass is greener somewhere, which is not always the case. Then again, also, uh, like, Many people have the mindset that oh, if you are buying a car, you have to test it before you buy. Mm -hmm. But marriage is not a car. Nobody is a car. And aside the spiritual component and then the psychological component, um, you always have to have the mindset that it will not always lead to marriage, but it will also always lead to marriage. So like maybe, for example, in Daniel's case, you have to ask yourself, okay, if it will lead to marriage, whatever we do before that, that's okay. But there's always a 10%, 5%, 1% chance that it may not lead to marriage. And if it doesn't lead to marriage, can you work out honorably and say you have not created a mess? matters in every situation in life it matters if if things go well that's wonderful but if things don't go well can you work out and say oh i've done everything a good man should do uh, it, it really really matters and uh, when you look at the research very well you realize that the the mindset about oh, let's just have sex let's just have sex and it doesn't matter well, in other parts of the world, it's normal, but in our side of the world, it's not a normal thing. Aside the spiritual component, once again, and aside also the spiritual component, to add even what he's saying, you see, the Bible says, a curse without cause will not stand, <laughs> but a curse with cause, it always stands. <laughs> yes, when there is an engagement, it's an investment. You understand? <sighs> And uh, you just picture, because for most men, they don't see it that way. But just picture that you have taken your money, taken care, care of a certain lady extensively. Picture that you are the one. And the lady goes to school, you have paid school fees, hassled, and all those things. Then the person leaves you. The woman leaves you. You know that usually this thing happen from the woman's side. How will you feel? You will feel that, oh, if, if it was my fault, it's just an investment. Uh, you made good debt, bad debt, and then you move on. But you can see the type of loss that you have made. Now, that picture, turn it around and relate it to a woman with sex. That's the type of loss you have created. That is why cohabitation, we see it as so, okay, we are living together. 
I can work out any time. You can also work in any time. No. That is not how life was meant to be. Even if you put God aside, that is not how life was meant to be. If you put God aside, it's not how it was meant to be. We are meant to be together in the eyes of all and in everything. So, and that would be my little admonition to you guys. Uh, as for sex in marriage, as Daniel has said, it's nothing different. <laughs> I like the way he put it. It's nothing different. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing different from before. Well, I don't know much about before, but I can tell you about in. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there. And you see, it's one of the things that I feel society has blown out of proportion. <laughs> yeah, the sex component. So it's some people really look forward to. But. As I always say, after one year, two years, it's, a, it's the same person, the same <laughs> thing, different styles, different hair, and all this, but still, it's the same. So, um, uh, this is the little I have to say to encourage you as youthful guys. I'm happy about the fact that you are ambitious. Now you are working to make meaning out of life. It is clear to us that you intend to really make it in life and we will support you with prayer and all that. But marriage is a necessary component of everybody's life. And your marriage can make you or make you. Whether your business or not your business. So if our mind is on the fact that, oh, when we marry, it will only be well with us. No. And there is one thing that I want to just, uh, as we are wrapping up, and I'll let our viewers here give maybe just one or two things that they have to say. But there is one thing I'll say wrapping up, and it is the fact that when we marry, it is not a matter of what you will get, what that person will get. When we marry with the mindset that I've made a decision and I'm sticking to it, whether what is in it is good or bad. And as our friends here have told us, I will manage myself well in it. Our focus will never be on, is this thing big? Is this thing small? This is what I thought about. This is not what I thought about. But we should marry the mind that that is it. I've closed the door. Whether it is good, it is bad. That's all. Uh, if we have this mind in marriage, I can guarantee you will succeed. Whether it is dark or there is light, I've entered. And whatever I will take to turn that place around, that's what I will do. I don't care what is not there. If we can do this in our marriages, We'll be fine. Any last words? Then we close. Okay, that, yes. Okay. Um, last words. Um. Awesome. Shout out to somebody you want to appreciate. Okay, yeah. first of all, um, shout out to my teammates okay. at Import BTN. Mm. And uh, to all the Whoever is watching this, and you see my face somewhere. I mean, you know me somewhere. Big shout out to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's what I want to say. Yes, All right. Okay, so what I want to advise the youth that they should read Christian books about marriage and things to also build more knowledge because the social media, the, what is coming from the social media is not the Christian virtue stuff. So you realize that somebody will be there every day is watching other videos but when a christian video about marriage or something pops up and then no flip because mm -hmm. these people are trying to advise the youth to bring us together but the others also are bringing this the masses so they should invest in reading christian books about marriages and other life books so that they understand marriage and life in a different perspective than what they are in already okay final words okay so as he said um as we are Christians, it's very important to do uh, what the Lord says and uh, 
uh, we know that uh, sex outside marriage is not the best. So, uh, but, but if you've done it already, fine. But try to amend your ways and do what's right. If the person you are with, you feel like uh, the person is the right person, uh, go through the right process and let God bless your home. And a big shout out to my sweet mother, Candy Pell, and uh, my twin sister, and the rest of my siblings, and my good friends out there who are supporting me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And this is where we end our interview. God be with you. Stay safe. Bye. Don't miss out all the fun and exciting interviews with Rob. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook at MTG IT Center, Instagram and TikTok at MTG underscore multimedia. Get your movies or documentaries at MTG Multimedia. Did you know that at MTG, we stand the chance of getting the best and quality training in IT at a very affordable price? We have, we do 18 courses, 18 internationally recognized courses, to three months. My presentation is about the evolution of computer hardware and software. With their school website. 20% didn't have any issue with their school website. Welcome from your child. Your backchat, the level of ignorance in all these schools you interview is very high. So, a lot of them, even parents, don't know that the school has a website. You take the, the full malware scan to see if there is a hacker on your system. We also provide you with mobile and web applications such as ticketing and voting softwares, viewers and accounting softwares, school and management softwares, hospital management softwares, etc. We also help you with your IT project research and digital marketing. And don't forget of our media services. Book us for all your events such as your weddings, photo shoots, engagements, funerals, birthday parties, corporate events, and many more. Contact us on 055-288-3975 or 055-301-2602. MTG, we provide you with the best and quality.